today, my brothers and sisters, that's my cry to you, to pray for the preacher. That you and I strive together with the preacher, with pastor, in our prayers. That we devote ourselves to prayer with an alert mind. That you pray God will give the preacher opportunities to speak about him. My plea today is for prayer. You see, there's a great spiritual warfare going on in our church, in our lives, and in mine. Our adversary is alive and busy. He's opposing our every efforts day and night. He is at work this very moment, working to keep us from being the people, the families, and the church that God expects us to be. He's at work trying to distract and disrupt. He's at work trying to convince us that prayer is not important, that prayer for pastor is useless, but that's a lie from the pit of hell. As you study the pages of scripture and history of the church of God throughout time, one thing is constant in the lives of God's most effective saints, prayer. If we're gonna be the church God wills for us to be, if we're going to be as effective as we can be, uh, if we're going to make this, this shift that's been our mantra, our reality, then we must be a church. We must be a people that prays. In every situation, we need God. And it is through the vehicle of prayer that we access the person and the power of God. It is through prayer and supplication which simply means to plead to God with all of your needs. Watching means to stay alert. It has the idea of vigilance. It means we want, when we want sleep, we lack sleep because we're so busy being vigilant praying. Remember the disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane on the night before our Lord was crucified? Matthew 26, 38, Jesus told Peter, James, and John to watch with him. He walked away from them and prayed a while, and when he got back, he found them asleep. And it said to them, what? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray, my brothers and sisters. Learn with perseverance. Why? Because you're going to want to give up and go home. Think about it. Prayer is too often the first thing we let go of in our spiritual walk. We lay prayer aside and begin to depend on the flesh, on, on what we can do and what we think and what we want to do. We depend on our abilities far too much, and we, were, we depend on God far too little. We, we depend on our abilities and our talents and our wisdom, but all the while, it is prayer that we need the most. Who should we pray for? Surely you'll pray for yourselves. Uh, and Paul says in verse 18 to pray for all saints. Much prayer must be offered in order that we all might be able to stay. Without prayer, our armor and our swords mean nothing. Pray this is helpful. Declare, write some names of people that you're duty bound to pray for. But you really don't need a prayer list to pray for one another. All we need is to wake up from our slumber, to consider one another and begin to pray. Don't just pray for all the saints. Pray for the preachers. Yes, you must pray for yourselves and for one another. But today, Bishop and I want to implore you to pray, as Paul, as Paul said in Ephesians, pray for the preacher. That is, I beseech you to pray for your pastor. Some of you do. When they're praying for pastor, he'll find courage to do the difficult things that he must do. And he'll find great accountability to walk in holiness and purity. When you pray, every stay on the enemy will be thwarted. When you pray, God will continue to strengthen and empower pastor to stand boldly and declare the unsearchable riches of glory. Let me show you this, my brothers and sisters. If Craig Scott Brown is ever going to be the preacher and pastor God desires for him to be, if Craig Scott Brown is ever going to be the preacher and pastor that we need him to be, there must be, there has to be, there's got to be some dutiful, powerful prayer. A great preacher from long ago is quoted to say, if some Christian Hear me now. If some Christians that have been complaining of their ministers had said and acted less before people and had applied themselves with all their might to cry to God for their ministers, had, as it were, risen in strong heaven with their humble, fervent, and incessant prayers for them, they would have been much more in the way of success. 
In other words, instead of complaining, instead of murmuring, instead of questioning, instead of telephone duty, get down on your knees and do some need to it. I heard the old saint say, just a little talk with Jesus makes everything all right. Did you know that 700 pastors leave ministry every month due to world failure, spiritual burnout, or contention in their churches?